Right, hello everyone. Now I'm going to test the boost sensor on a Virago 1000. Uh, the process is the same with the 1100s all the way up to 1996 because then they changed the production and they don't have the boost sensor anymore. They have a throttle position sensor on the carburetors, uh, on the butterfly uh, pivot basically. Uh, they have a, a potentiometer that checks how far the throttle is open. Uh, so yeah, now what this does is it gets a vacuum feed from the engine, uh, usually the front cylinder, and basically it uh, changes the timing of the engine. Uh, it gives um, a, an elect electric signal to the TCI. Uh, because if you're running at low RPM and you yank the throttle wide open, then um, the bike needs changing um, the ignition ad advancement. So the spark has to happen in a different moment in time in order to get the maximum acceleration. And the other way around, if you're uh, uh, shutting the throttle and... Uh, your engine braking basically then if it uh, retards the timing um, it can effectively give you lower emission numbers which makes the EPA guys happy so that's why they had to use this sort of uh, technology as I said on the newer ones like the V Star 1100s and such they have uh, or the, the newer Viragos for that matter uh, the big ones, uh, they have this uh, throttle position sensors, not on the 750s, so if you have a 750 there's no point looking around, it's exclusively a 1000cc and 1100cc thing, uh, so yeah, on the newer ones that's, there's that uh, throttle position sensor, or the, on the older ones it's this boost sensor, this is an indirect kind of measurement which checks the vacuum in the manifold, which changes depending on how far your butterfly valve is open or closed. Uh, it's the same thing really as the throttle position sensor, but it's an indirect measurement. So now I hooked up the, the multimeter to the boost sensor. I'll try and show you what is what. Uh, obviously the red and white is the 12 volt feed in. There's this one, uh, the black with the red tracer. And there's another one, a black with the yellow tracer. And those are those uh, signal lines that uh, end up in the TCI, actually. And needless to say, this here is the vacuum jobby. So, yeah, according to the manual, uh, when there is no vacuum whatsoever, it should read 3 volts on the multimeter. So that's the resting voltage, shall we say. Oh, yeah. There we go, 307. That is close enough. And if I fire the bike up, that number is going to drop. So, basically, this just checked out. Uh, uh, as you could see, or hear rather, when uh, I yanked the throttle open and shot it quickly, uh, so closed it off, uh, uh, the vacuum went up because the, the, the engine was revving high and I closed the butterfly all of a sudden and that uh, uh, obviously started pulling an extra high vacuum and then you could see that the number went down to a volt or even less than one volt and uh, when you start opening the throttle and the CV diaphragm uh, starts opening the carbs the numbers are closer to two and a half uh, so yeah when it's wide open uh, and you're revving then uh, it reads about three volts and as you can see when when there's a high vacuum situation like engine braking or uh, or anything like that um, obviously the voltage drops and that gives a signal to the TCI and the TCI knows what to do how to change the ignition timing so basically that's what it does and that's how to test it without taking it out of the bike all you have to remove is the plastic cover uh, with the screws 
the covers, where well, the cover uh, covers obviously the, the ignition coils and the boost sensor sits in that square cut out that's where the white plastic connector jobby slips into and it's secured with one screw in one of those corners so that will be it guys uh, hope that it i hope that it helps uh, have fun